Claire, I do have good news tonight. The level three evacuations that were ordered earlier today, tonight, have now been downgraded to a level one. So indeed, those folks are able to go home as tonight firefighters continue to try to get that fire under control. Take a look. This is what it looked like earlier this evening. That fire burning just about 10 miles north of the town of Reardon, just off Highway 231. In all seven different agencies responded, fighting that fire both on the ground and using multiple aircraft in the sky including a large DC-10 out of Moses Lake, dropping water and retardant on that fire, protecting nearby homes. The extreme heat and shifting winds did make it difficult on the more than 50 firefighters there, the Department of Natural Resources. They tell me the focus tonight is getting a line around that fire, and making sure that there aren't any flare-ups. Key message, folks, out here tonight is there will be smoke in the area. You'll probably see some flames overnight and flames burning, but firefighters will be on scene on this fire all night taking care of it. Now more resources are on their way, including 50 more firefighters that will be there either tonight or early tomorrow as they continue to mop up that fire as for a cause. Tonight, it remains under investigation. Reporting about 10 acres since it broke out yesterday afternoon, but it's not threatening any homes. The Department of Natural Resources says they do have a line around this fire, but they're still working to control it. Tonight, the Chelan Hills fire is up to nearly 2,000 acres, but it is 97% contained. They still don't know what started it. And tonight, the Sheep Creek fire in Stevens County is up to 100 acres, but it's still burning out of control. Firefighters say it's extremely active and tearing through thick timber. The Sheep Creek campground and road to the campground are still temporarily closed because of it. The fires in our area that's bringing the smoke, it's actually the fires that are down in Northern California, if you can believe it. Really saw that smoke move in fairly heavy throughout the day today and really created that haze all day long. Well, it's all coming from the southwest. You can kind of see how those clouds are moving in as well, and that's what brought all the smoke this afternoon. Of course, it did impact our air quality. Now almost the entire region down into the moderate category. The one saving grace here is that because those fires are so far away in Northern California, a lot of this smoke is way up in the atmosphere. It's acting more like clouds, which is also the reason why it didn't get as hot as we were expecting out there today. Good news. All the heat warnings have now been expired or canceled as temperatures have cooled down tonight and expecting to cool down from here. But the smoke actually kept us from getting to 100 degrees in the Spokane area right now, though, still fairly warm 81 degrees by tomorrow morning. Temperatures down into the upper 60s, low 70s as we start off the day, mostly sunny. You notice a little bit of wind starting to sneak in, and that's what we're going to be talking a lot about here coming up in a few minutes, Claire. Cooler temperatures, but it brings the wind, and that keeps the fire danger high. All those.